Cheers beauties, it's Catherine Grayso here at the red carpet at the LA New Filmmakers Festival. And we're awaiting the arrival of Kieran Vala, the director of Delinquent, and Meredith O'Connor. It's going to be an exciting evening. I can't wait to share with you. Well, I'm here with Meredith O'Connor. I am so excited. Hey, it's so lovely to meet it's you. It's so lovely to be here. I'm looking forward to seeing the film. Yeah, me too. We are here at the New Filmmaker Film Festival in LA and at the premiere of Delinquent um, here at the film festival. It's a full feature film, which is, we're so excited. Yeah. So excited to have you here. Well, I'm, I'm really happy to support filmmaking, emerging artists in, in the world of film. I'm, I know that as, um, Ever since I've been signed to, to sing, I, I've always felt like art can really transform and change societies. And, you know, I think that people who are using that medium to do good things is the most important thing in the world. Oh, I totally agree with you. Recently, Meryl Streep lit up the world at the Golden Globes, stating, take that broken heart and turn it into art. You're doing that, right? How does that resonate for you? Um, well, I think I'm, I'm just very fortunate to have the opportunity to be able to speak to to, to be heard by, by millions and, and help kids in ways that I never knew would be possible. And it's the kind of thing that when I was younger and I was experiencing some stuff that wasn't so fun always, it's the kind of thing that I would remember to tell myself, you know, if anything, if you ever do get strong and, and um, overcome this, do good things with it, which is exactly what she said. So when I see other people, you know, someone is, uh, who has as much credentials as Meryl Streep using her incredible platform and she's one of my favorite actresses always has been to, to say something like that um, it really it makes me so happy to, to see that so that's kind of something that I've always been strongly uh, passionate about doing um, and try to you know I'll always be passionate about that <laughs> you have quite a story yourself and you're an inspiration to so many Meredith who inspires you what inspires me every day is the um, amount of is the amount of universal pain that's being felt by kids from yeah what inspires me is when i you know when i go on instagram or when i open the fan mail from the you know whatever and and i'm reading people writing me saying they feel alone and i know that they're not because i've seen other people who feel that way and i felt that way and that inspires me to keep to keep telling as many people fans and as many people in the world as i can that they're not alone um, and showing them how, however possible so they don't have to feel feel that way. So that's my inspiration, I think. I love your message. Thank you so much. If you were able to go back in time and talk to that young girl who was being bullied, what would you say to her today? I would say that any second you spend hating yourself is a second of wasted emotion, no pain, you know? You yeah. don't have to ever feel that way and um, everything that you are insecure about and, and don't like about yourself is what's going to make you successful. So just count your lucky blessings that you are weird and keep being strange. <laughs> I love that. That's so refreshing, isn't it? Like just be because, yourself, right? It's really, yeah. it's so, um, it's great when you learn that it's okay to be yourself and it's almost frustrating when you, when you realize how many years you spent when you're 13 or whatever age you were where you're like, oh, I don't like how I look. And you know, the truth is there are people who are feeling that way and it's not necessary. So that's, yeah. <laughs> that's absolutely a beautiful message. Thank you. So tell me three words to describe you. Okay, um, oh gosh, wait, like I feel like after this question I'm going to think of it later, be like, oh, I should have used that word. Um, I think, uh, God, um, ambitious, creative, and loyal. Oh, I love that, I love that. <laughs> Loyalty is an amazing quality. Thank you so much. Yes. It took me 54 years to be able to stand up and deliver a message. How are you able to do it at such a young age with a high level of confidence? I um, the, the thing that made me able to do it is like there's the pain that you face that like gets in your way, right? That we all kind of deal with, and especially when you go through something really traumatic. Um, some you know some people have a hard time with that, and I was one of those people. But then there's the thing that you love, and for me that was music and getting on stage and singing in the Off Broadway company and. I had that dream, right? And no matter how much pain I was in, nothing was gonna get in that way. So when I found my manager, Rick Galvin, I was like, I don't care what anxiety I have. I was able to, I, and I had the right people, I was talking to people as well, which is um, a, the combination of having the right people on your side, you know, as well as having a passion will push away any pain in the world. Um, 
to make sure that you can go after what you want. So I encourage people to, to find their passion. That's so powerful. You are a young woman that is literally changing the world. What does that feel like? It's overwhelming and it's amazing. And I, um, I feel like it's something that I know that I'm just very fortunate to to be able to to do that. And when I see people who feel like they're alone, it just inspires me to to want to keep doing that. And um, and yeah, I was trying to remember what I was going to say. I'm on well, it's me too. <laughs> it's a beautiful mission that you have. I watched your music video with Garrett and Madeline, the young girl with Down syndrome, stronger. It blew me away. What was that experience like for you? Um, it was so great. I have to say, Madeline Stewart is so sweet. She's somebody that um, we met at Fashion Week, and she is a model changing the world. You know, she's changing the world in her own amazing way. Garrett's really funny, really nice, and he's going to go on to do amazing projects, and he's going to keep going on. And he's also an advocate, just similar to myself and Madeline. He also, it was a great collaboration because he advocates for, for anti-bullying, and he definitely means what he talks about. So I think he's um, one of the sweetest people ever, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Fantastic. It's an amazing music video with a very powerful message. Thank you so much. You are one empowered young woman. What does it feel like to be empowered? What it feels like to be empowered is I feel like it, it just, it's a reminder to yourself that you, um, it's almost like this luxury that we don't all know that we can have. And it's the kind of thing that it's not like, you know, somebody says, oh, we'll just stop being depressed. It doesn't work like that. But when you realize that feeling empowered is possible through hard work, um, and not everyone knows it's, po it's possible, but once you realize it's possible, you never want to feel weak or, or disempowered, again. Disem disempowered is, is a better word, ever again. And uh, that's that's kind of how it feels. So it's, it's something that um, continues to, to help inspire me. That's amazing. Well, thank we are you. so happy to have you here tonight at Delinquent. And thank you so much for talking to us. Of I, course. I'm looking yeah. forward to, to seeing the film. So thanks thank again. Thank you so much. Great me meeting. too. Appreciate <laughs> it. Awesome. All right. Sounds thanks. good. We're here with Kieran Bala, the director of Delinquent, the movie here, the full feature film that is premiering at the New Filmmaker Awards in LA. So Kieran, I'm delighted to have you here tonight. What an exciting evening. Yeah, we're really excited. We're really excited to share it with everyone in LA. Uh, we've lived in LA, all of us, for like six years together who made the film. We all met at AFI, which we started in 2010. Um, and this is the first time we get to share it with everybody uh, kind of in our hometown. So it's going to be it's going to be fun to, to see what a lot of our friends think. They've been asking us about it when they're going to see it. And tonight's the night. So. Here we go. It's yeah. fantastic. Yep. You have quite a reputation in the short film world. This is your first full feature film. Mm -hmm. What's that experience like for you? Uh, it's a lot longer to make a feature. That's for sure. It's uh, you have to uh, you have to you have to be prepared not to get much sleep, especially when you're making a film like this. That's on such a low budget. Uh, and we did uh, three six-day weeks, so we shot for 18 days, and then we were shooting like little B-roll stuff on our days off. So it was really like 21 days just straight of, you know, 16-hour days of shooting. Wow. So you really have to make sure, like psychologically and physically, you're prepared to go into it. And it's just, you know, you're crafting a longer story. So in some ways, there's a little more leeway where you can rearrange things to make things work. Whereas in a short, it's such a small, contained piece that everything has to really work together in a, in, a, in a more specific way in terms of how you go about shooting it. But a feature, you know, you also have to sustain a narrative, you know, for 90, 100 minutes, which, uh, you know, you have to make sure it's engaging for that long, which is a challenge in itself. So. Or in this, I had uh, Alex Schaefer as the lead of our movie, who uh, started in a film, his first role was in a movie called Win Win, which he starred along with Paul Giamatti right. with. And uh, he's just an exceptional young talent who really carries the film and who carries the emotional weight of a film in a way that, uh, you know, he's only 20 when we made the film, such a young actor. I think he's going to do really big things and he really helped bring the main character of the film to life. So. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's a dark coming of age drama. What message do you want to deliver through the film? Well. I think one of the primary messages that we we want to deliver is this young kid uh, who Alex Schaefer plays named Joey. He comes from very difficult life circumstances and I think he thinks of himself as not a very good person right. and not a person who's worthy of, you know, kind of being happy or escaping the situation that he's kind of in with his with his family. And I think it becomes clearer to him by the end that 
like who he is, he realizes that he's he's stronger than the situation that he came from, and and and, and stronger than his father in, in a certain regard. And you know whether he makes the right choice or not, I don't know if I'll if I'll say here, but but that's kind of the idea that we want to go for. That you know that the ability to rise up from your from your circumstances, especially your familial circumstances, and how difficult that is, and how sometimes it's nearly impossible, and just kind of carrying the weight of that in your life. And, and a lot of people all over the you know the world face that, and and I think it's a story of an exceptional young man that I'm really you know excited to share with everyone. So that sounds like a very powerful story, and it's very much in alignment because you have Meredith O'Connor in the house tonight. Yes, and she has been traveling the world with her anti-bullying platform. Now tell me, what do you think of this young woman who's basically changing the world? She's incredible. I watched, uh, I've seen her music, her music video for Stronger, yes, which amazing. is which is amazing. exceptional. It's just really amazing, and I think that's a message that I really believe in, and I believe in and support strongly as well. Is anti-bullying campaigns. My wife is actually a teacher, and my mom's a teacher, my dad's a teacher, my sister's a teacher. So I have a, a lot of history within school settings, and you know, sure. hearing the stories and seeing those stories, and and understanding, and especially in today's culture where there's so much anonymity with with the internet it becomes it becomes difficult but it's also being as a used as a tool like when you see people like Meredith to counteract the effects of that anonymity where people can bully people and kids can't actually escape it when they come from home so I think the work that she's doing is incredibly important and uh, I'm excited to have her here to see the movie because I think there's some underlying tones and messages about that in delinquent as well so fantastic What's next for you, Karen? I just uh, I just filmed a pilot uh, in Vancouver called Nightmare Time for TBS this fall, and um, so we just did that. And then I'm just writing right now. I'm I'm uh, adapting a book, and uh, I'm also writing a few features right now. Levi and I have a couple things in the work, and then I'm writing a few comedy features as well. So just trying to really take some downtime at the beginning of this year and gather some material as I wait for other things to take shape. So that sounds amazing. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to yeah, us. Thank it's you. an exciting evening well, and no you. doubt it's going to be an amazing Awesome. Yeah, well, thank you for having thank me. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you very much. It's been an amazing evening at the New Filmmakers LA Festival here with Kieran Vala and Meredith O'Connor. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. You're going to want to stay watching these two. They are doing some amazing things changing the world. Cheers, beauties. Have a fabulous night.